Hello everybody, welcome back to the Advanced Vape channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the TFV-8 from Smoke. So this is the successor to the TFV-4 and it's very similar except uh, it has new coils that are not compatible with the old one and it has a brand new RBA section which is much improved over the TFV-4. So the TFV-4 had uh, three, I believe, three RBA sections and I had a problem with each of those. I wasn't a big fan of the RBA on the TFV-4 on any of them, especially the single coil. I did not like it at all. So they've greatly improved that and the RBA basically turns this into an RTA. Uh, I'll go over real quickly what's in the box. It comes with two stock coils, which have a very high wattage usage, that's 120 to 180, or 50 to 260, best at 120 to 180, so a lot of watts on there. That one's 50 to 180. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about these or even use them. Um, they're Canthal, not really interested in the stock coil thing. So I'm going to set these aside. I haven't tried them. This this video is going to be about the RBA section. Uh, that's what we do on this channel. We build stuff. So not really interested in these. Uh, it comes with a replacement glass, the normal bag of O-rings and, and 510 adapter replacement uh, rubber seal there, we'll talk about that in a second. And some cotton. I'm gonna put all that stuff aside and we'll take a look at the build deck on there, which is the important part for me. And one thing I want to mention before we keep going for, about this RBA section, I'll go on and take this apart. This RBA section is is like the other coils, it unscrews, but the first uh, TFV-8 that I got in the mail, it was uh, defective in that this RBA section would not screw onto the base. Uh, I could just keep spinning and spinning and it would never catch the threads and start to screw into the base. So uh, I've seen a couple people online mention it. I know I wasn't the only person to have the problem, but from what I can tell it seems like the stainless steel version is the one that had the problem with that. So just keep that in mind if you buy one of these and you're, you're not able to screw that onto the base. That, that is an issue that I had with it and I had to get a replacement. But this one works fine. As you can see it has a very big RBA section. It has a, a removable chimney and it pretty much reveals uh, just a normal velocity style deck. I haven't really really been able to prevent this kind of bend going on there. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but it's been like that since I got it. So I don't know if it was intended to be like that or it's just uh, bent from me turning it or it was like that the moment I got it out of the package. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't seen a whole lot of pictures of this bend on other ones, so that's just how mine was. As you can see, the uh, wicking system is kind of very similar to the Heracles RTA2 where uh, both cottons kind of stuff together into a shared channel under the posts. So much easier to use than something like the Griffin with the four separate wick channels. So let's go on and, and move on to to dry firing this. This is a small staple coil build that's six pieces of 0.4 stainless steel ribbon with 40 gauge around it. I wanted to make it a little bit spaced, so that's why they're not perfectly contact, but it blocks the airflow pretty well, so I'm happy with the placement on that. And we'll go on and move on to dry firing.
Okay, I think we're looking good. Easy to build on so far, just a normal velocity style deck. Plenty of room for large builds. This is kind of a small staple, but I could have fit three and a half in here easily if I moved it closer to the posts. And I, I could have fit a significantly larger coil in there. So tons of room for an RBA section. And now that we're done with the dry fire, we'll go on and move on to wicking. I'm going to be using rayon. So I like to try and put my scissors up against that notch there. And like the uh, Heracles RTA2, at this point, I just kind of stuff it down into those channels. And I'll make adjustments if I feel like it's packed too tightly. Like the Heracles, you don't want to be uh, over packing this in there and you you want to make sure that there's not a big gap in there either so it, it needs a little more wick than you think that it does but if you overstuff it in there like anything it's going to give you dry hits And now we're going to use that signature top fill method with it swiveling to the side and a little rubber stopper in there. So the only issue with this is that you can't empty the tank with this top fill method, but it doesn't leak. It's a good overall top fill. I don't have any problems with this style. Sometimes you can get a little bit of seeping around the edge when you when you close this up, but I didn't this time. Uh, this tank is extremely airy, so I tend to leave it right about here, or maybe about there, about halfway. But I don't ever use it all the way open because it's just too much air for me. Alright, let's try it out. I'm going to transfer this over to a different mod. Really good flavor, but not exceptional flavor. Uh, I would say the Griffin Mini has better flavor, but uh, this one is not not bad. And if you like using stock coils, it's that kind of uh, skews this more in in that favor. And also, if you like uh, a wide or open airflow, you like more air, uh, this one would be would be a better choice than the Griffin Mini, which has kind of a, a tighter airflow.
Now I've tried a few different uh, builds in this and it seems to me that you need uh, kind of a heavy duty build to make this work because it's so airy. Uh, something like the vertebrae gets drowned out, so you need something with a lot of, of heat density, like a fused or a staple, to really take advantage of this tank and get the, the best flavor and performance out of it. So if you use something like vertebrae, the flavor is really good, but it, it just gets drowned out by that airflow, so the clouds are pretty small, and uh, it just doesn't, doesn't perform how vertebrae can on other tanks with a little bit less air. Overall, I think if you purchased one of the other RTAs, the TFRTA or the TFRDTA, or you like the TFV4, um, it, it's a better choice than all of those, in my opinion. So you've got the stock coils if you like that, and you've got a very capable RBA section that can fit really big builds in there and allow you to to do quite a different, quite a few different builds as long as it has that heat density to not get drowned out by the airflow and I like that they incorporated the wicking style from the Heracles RTA too. It's much easier to wick and more effective wicking than uh, the RBA sections on the TFV4 had and also uh, just that Griffin style with the four wick channels. So this one wicks a lot better than that style. Overall I I'm happy with it. It's good flavor but it's not great. There's other tanks that kind of outperform this on flavor but like I was saying if you're interested in the stock coils or some other factor about this one in particular the top fill method or you just like smoke products and it's a good choice uh, there's other ones out there that beat it on individual categories but the whole picture together it's it's really not a bad choice. That'll bring us to the end of this quick video about the TFV8. If you like this video and our channel, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments or send me an email. Thanks.